Now, when you first open Capture One, you'll be prompted to either establish a new catalog or open the last one you were in when using it last. And getting started in Capture One requires a familiarity with catalogs or sessions. Now, if you're familiar with Lightroom's catalog structure, you'll be a long way towards getting along with Capture One. In fact, you can import catalogs from Lightroom as well as Aperture. Now, catalogs in Capture One are databases that record the location of your images and reaches into that destination each time you open those files. Now, if the files are moved, then the catalogs cannot retrieve the file until the sync process has completed. Sessions, on the other hand, are actual directories on your hard drive that where the files actually exist, removing the need to continuously update the file location information. Now, most people starting out in Capture One just start a new catalog, but let me show you when a session might be a better choice. Let's go ahead and launch Capture One and follow the process. Come down, find the icon. Now, as we can see, it's loading the last session that I was in, Fresno State Men's Basketball. And if we hit on the Capture folder, you'll see that there are no images in there because I have not imported them yet. Let's go ahead and do that and show you how that works. Now, rather than import 699 images, I'm going to go ahead and do seven just so that you can see how the process does work. All right, we'll go to File, Import Images. I'm going to pick these seven images. And here we have our source, which is my CF card. The destination is the file of 3417B and then capture, which is the subdirectory. Now the naming convention, as we have talked about in the past, down here, gives me a suffix of capture one version 11. And this is how the file name will read when the file is imported. I'm also impressing my copyright information on there. So let's go ahead and import seven images and see what happens. And now it's generating the previews, and from here we do our normal work with the color balance, sharpening, cropping, and so on. Now, as I mentioned, the good thing about sessions are that you can move a session anywhere. You can take a session and put it on a different hard drive. You can change the path to the directory any way you want to within your directory structure. And as long as you can navigate directly to that directory, thereby maintaining control of your inventory, then you won't have any problem finding your images like you might with a catalog. Let's now look at what happens when I do want to import about 700 images, which is typical for a basketball game. I'm going to go ahead and get this one, and then get the very last one. It'll be a little less than 699, 690 images. Let's go ahead and click on that. We already have our capture parameters established, so, so it's simply going to add these extra images to an existing directory. And we can see that the anticipated elapsed time is going to be about 12 minutes. Now that's a little slower than my USB 3 card reader would ingest the images into a MacBook Pro, but I don't think it's so long that it's prohibitive. And so now what is happening is that all these raw images are being loaded into this capture folder, and this is your progress bar right here. And we have our selects, we have our output folder, which, and then of course we have our trash folder. So everything is physically located within one directory, which meets our criteria for staying in control of your images. And if you don't know that concept, I'm going to refer back to a previous lesson, raw file workflow. View that lesson and you'll understand why you don't want to become a slave to software. Now here's the other really good part. Remember when we said that Capture One's process of catalogs and sessions can be very inconvenient for some people, myself included. But if you use a session, you can come down, access your directory structure the way you're used to seeing it, and simply at random access different directories. Now I'm not going to demonstrate that now with an import process going on, but you get the idea. Here's everything you're used to seeing in the way that you're used to seeing it. And then when you save, you simply save to this session in the output folder, and you're good to go. I'm not going to make you sit through this import process, just so that you know that it takes about 12 minutes for these to import. In fact, let's go ahead and stop the process. Let's now go to Catalogs and look at how to establish a catalog in Capture One 11.